now that summer's finally here, your kids probably asking if they can jump in the pool. But there are some dangers that you need to know about. Drowning happens to be the second leading cause of death for kids ages 5 to 14. So what do you need to look for to keep your kids safe from dry drowning and secondary drowning? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live for us in Kenmore this morning with details. Well, good morning, Ed and Katie. Mang Pool here in Kenmore, almost a week to go until it opens. And parents, while you're typically aware of drowning as something that might happen to your child, while he or she is in the water, experts now say they could also be at risk once they get out. Although less common, dry drowning and secondary drowning are two different yet potentially dangerous conditions that could affect your child once they're out of the water. Here's what you need to know. In secondary drowning, you may not see symptoms for up to 24 hours, while dry drowning, usually happens soon after getting out of the water. Both conditions are the result of water intake that ultimately can make it hard for your child to breathe. Darcy Hughes with the YMCA says prevention starts with knowing the signs. Any child that has been pulled from the water, you want to get medical attention because they may have aspirated water. Um, anytime they have a persistent cough or trouble breathing, labored breathing, shallow breathing, um, there's a little spot right here by your collarbone and if it's if you see them struggling to breathe, you'd want to get medical attention. Sleepiness, drowsiness could mean their oxygen level is low. Who says knowing the statistics is important when it comes to drowning prevention and that in general, preventative measures are the same for dry and secondary drowning as it is for any other kind, starting with water safety skills. Now coming up at 630, you'll hear from a father whose son was hospitalized due to drow drowning. He'll tell us how his now 15 year old son is doing two years later. In Kenmore, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. So this is all about swallowing water. And mm -hmm. if your kid has trouble breathing or coughing, you need to keep an eye on them, bring them to a doctor perhaps yeah. to make sure that they're okay. And we're talking in the days after sure. going swimming. So good information.